Howdy everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Crypto. I'm Brad, and in this episode, I was asked by one of the responders on the YouTube channel for a difference between the leverage token and the leverage grid bot. Now, it took me some playing around with the leverage grid bot to understand the mechanics of it because I automatically assumed that whenever I started a position on a token that, you know, I'm borrowing money and it would be over the entire amount that I borrowed that I would be making profit. And I wasn't seeing that, and it was kind of frustrating. And it wasn't until I started to leverage one, and a regular one, with the exact same parameters, the exact same setup, everything was the exact same. And I understood whenever you get grid profits from it, the grid profits are, in fact you know, two, three, up to five times that of the regular grid profits. Now, the unrealized position that you haven't sold the amount that you started with, that part is not leveraged. So, you are getting leveraged profits on all the grid transactions, but you're not getting leverage on your unrealized position. So, it took me a while to understand and comprehend that. So, with leverage grid, you do face the uh, risk of being liquidated. So, if it gets down to your liquidation price, you can lose everything that you set into that trade. So, there is greater reward, but... It's only on the actual grid profits. It's not on the unrealized position. So I hope that makes sense. Now, the leverage tokens. So, um, dead gum, I just had it. Anyway, the leverage tokens, uh, leveraged. And I'm mainly trading XRP right now. So with these, this is three times the volatility of trading the regular asset. Now, these do carry risk with them as, okay, once they trade under a certain price, so under 50 cents, they are in jeopardy of being reverse split so right now the xrp 1s and xrp 3s might be listed on the zen desk for um <clears throat> so you come over here at pinex you go to the feed and it will tell you okay this coin is set for reverse split so, as soon as you see it listed for a reverse split, you know that it's coming and it will do either a 1 to 1,000, 1 to 500, or 1 to 100 reverse split of that actual token. So, for every, you know, 1,000 of them that you hold, it will reduce that to either 1 or 10 or 50 depending on the severity of the reverse split so i try to avoid trading anything that is under 50 cents now whenever you choose to like this one let's say you think the price is going to keep pumping from here so you would choose the xrp 3 l that l stands for long S stands for short, so the S, you're betting the price is going to go down, and you would make profits on the way down. So, if you go to the 
four hour, you can see that it hangs out and pumped up to, you know, $13 per coin. And then came back down. And, uh, yeah, if you think that the price of XRP is going to go up, you would simply select that. And then let's go to trade. And let's start a grid trading using this token, which is already leveraged for us. So you can see price down to 1.2, 2.66. Let's go ahead and set ourselves. So I want to catch it if it dips down to 50 cents. And 13 was the high. So actually, if it goes to the top, I still want to have coins left to sell once it reaches the top. So I'll go ahead and do 18. And I want to do the maximum amount of grids. So you can see here, total investment required is 639 currently. All my funds are tied up in other things. So, I can't have 150 grids. So, let's choose 99 grids. All right. So, this one I could do. Profit per grid is 3.52, which sounds like a lot. But, you know, it'll probably happen a lot more frequently than I thought. So, just simply slide that over. And if you want, come over, look at the trading view chart on XRP. We just had a huge pump, a little bit of a pullback. And I'm not a fortune teller, but on the five minute, it looks to be holding really nicely after such a huge pump. So I'm thinking there's going to be more continuation. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this. So, I would go ahead and create the bot. Bot created successfully. It's starting my bot. Now, this, the unrealized and realized are all leveraged together. It's all factored in. And, oh, is it down more? Oh, well. There's my grid. So the green lines you're buying, red lines you're selling. Let's zoom out to the four hour and you can see I have all my orders all the way past the top. And let's go back into this. Let's go to parameters. Now, now that the bot has started, I want to come over here and I can set my take profit. So let's say I want to stop this, even though I set it up to go up to $18, I want to shut this down at $11. So it'll sell all my unrealized profits at $11. So go ahead and hit that. And we're currently trading at $2.19. So you can set your stop loss price at whatever you want. I'm personally going to let this breathe and bounce around. So I don't want to set a stop loss price. Because you can see there are some wicked candles going on. So like say I'd started my bot here. It would have bought this dip. And yes, that would have been super scary, but it would have traded around in all of this madness, got me grid profits, lowered my average buy-in price down, and then once it pumped back up, I would be at probably break-even right around here. So all that would be just pure profit. So... It's really, really nice how it works. And once you play around with the leverage tokens, you will see the difference, the volatility. So 
if you're just starting off with them, get a feel for them, try to understand them before you go in heavy. And I don't recommend you start, you know, with the same parameters I have. Um, you might want to go tighter and just throw $20 in to try to understand and try to comprehend what it is you're playing with before you go in heavy. Now, whenever the trend reverses and overall, you know, let's say I chose wrong, XRP doesn't continue to pump and instead it just keeps going down. If that's the case, then yeah, I will lose quite a bit, but I won't be liquidated. Now, if it's set to a reverse split and I hold it until the reverse split happens, this bot will shut down and after the reverse split happens, Instead of having, you know, say I have 400 tokens or 200 tokens, yeah, I would have like one, maybe three tokens in there, and I would have to manually sell those tokens at that point if the price doesn't recover. So it's a different kind of risk. There's still risk involved, but it's a different type of risk. Personally, I'm not going to let it get anywhere near 50 cents before I would shut this down and walk away. But I'm definitely going to let it play around for a little bit. With this kind of volatility, I think that, you know, there's profits to be made. And I want to start the bot, lock in the profits, and live to trade another day. So, hope this helps out. Hope you all understand more about it. If you have any questions, simply message me or hop on the Pinex Discord as I'm normally in here a couple of times a day. I do have a full-time job, so I can't be on here all the time. If you need a admin or it escalates to that level, simply go over here to the team. Anyone who's in the team actually can help you with stuff like that mods simply moderate the chat they keep keep things on track keep things away from you know people putting spam or phishing stuff or any of that so i leave a link in the description to join the discord and if you don't like discord you like telegram pinex has a telegram group for that too um and Telegram, simply watch out for impersonators and scammers. If you need an admin, simply type in admin. Wait for one to respond to you in chat and then start the conversation with them either in chat or direct message the person in the chat that responded to you. Admins will not message you first. And anyone who says, I am Pinex support, on private message and you didn't message them first that is a scam and they want to steal your crypto so y'all be safe out there and then until next time keep the trade coffee hot and the trades even hotter